we present Udolo, a novel system that detects 3D objects in RGBD or lighter sequence. Humans are able to memorize spatial object arrangement when looking around, this ability enables us to continuously locate, associate and recognize objects in the 3D space. However, 3D object detection processes each input image from a video stream individually. As a result, the detector percepts the surrounding world like this. The detector has no memory of the objects in the surrounding scene and treats previously seen objects as brand new ones, which is not only counterintuitive, but also very inefficient. In this work, we propose a novel system named Udolo that detects 3D objects while maintains a dynamic object occupancy map and object states as spatial temporal memory of the system. The spatial temporal memory in Udolo is represented by the object occupancy map and the object states. The object occupancy map is a 2D bird's eye view map which records the object occupancy state in every observed area in the world frame, and the current occupancy state is the segmentation of object occupancy map by selecting a threshold. The future object state represents the predicted distribution of objects in current frame. We argue that the key to constructing memory is to feed back the memory into different levels of the 3D detection pipeline in the next time step. Giving the current occupancy state from the last frame, the input point cloud is separated into three parts according to the corresponding world frame grid location. The red and green points represent the high object occupancy score and low object occupancy score regions, and the blue points represent the unobserved regions. At each time step, the front-end object occupancy map guided RPN takes the point cloud as input, extracts current frame object proposals only in the regions that have high object occupancy scores given by the object occupancy map, as well as the unobserved regions where new objects may appear. These front-end proposals are later fused with back-end object future state predictions from the last frame and passed through the Fusion RCNN. After association with the tracklet, current front-end predictions are fed into the object bundle adjustment module to produce optimized object states as the now bounding box prediction. With the future object states given by the motion prediction module, the object occupancy map is updated, the value of the area inside any 3D bounding box is added by 1, which means that the probability of an object in that area is increased, while the value outside the box is subtracted by 1. Finally, the object occupancy map and object states are fed to the pipeline of the next time step. The intermediate and final outputs of the system are visualized as follows. Firstly, we show the results on the indoor dataset scan net. As before, let's use different colors to represent different regions. Notice that our method can handle strong truncation. The produced bounding boxes are also more stable compared to the baseline. Next, we'll show some results on Outdoor Dataset Kitty. We use different colored 3D bounding boxes to represent different IDs on the RGB map. We can see that our method is more stable than the baseline. Finally, we show more indoor results in comparison with ground truth.